They call this the unofficial end of summer, but it's the beginning of something hot. Something hot. Yes. No August dog days. We're talking about September dog days. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lonnie Quinn is here right now, and also possibility of a heat wave. Lonnie. It, it brewing out there. Now, today we may end up being just shy. So far, we've hit 89. There may be an inner hour reading that we'll get from the National Weather Service, but if not today, I think tomorrow we get there, maybe the next day, maybe the next day. Sit tight. Let's show you what we have right now. And the shots have been beautiful all day long. There's a couple of little rogue showers that came through as a result of some heat and humidity combine in the area, but that's your picture right there. Danny, you know what this is? Danzy? Yes. This is great pickleball weather. Definitely great. <laughs> Maurice plays too, you know. You know. Anybody who plays pickleball? Yeah, you know, yeah, yes, I play a lot of pickleball. <laughs> and of <laughs> all times, Dana actually contacted me yesterday. Hey, can I come over and get a pickleball game in? I was out of town. Doggone. <laughs> Dana, we're going to get one going here. We'll get one going. It is one of our best Labor Days that we've had around here uh, in, in at least, boy, I'll tell you, over the last five years, this was just picture perfect. Three days in a row. 86 degrees today as of right now. Your high temperature was 89. So officially just shy of that 90 degree mark, but way above, you know, the average. Which is 80, but we thus far haven't seen 90 so far this summer. Uh, excuse me, uh, so far in the last, say, 30 some odd days, we haven't had a 90 degree reading. In fact, the 90 degree days that we've had this year, we had two in April, nothing in May, one in June, five in July, none in August. I had told you last week that that hadn't happened since 2000. Did a little bit more deeper research. I'm going to give some, Ma I'll give Maddie, my, uh, my cohort in the weather office, who is really delving into the books. We haven't had an August, well, get this, we haven't had an August with zero 90 degree days since 1986. I mean, uh, that goes way back, right? Well, you add all those up, it gives us now a season average, a season total of eight. The average is 15 for a year. We've only had eight, way less than the preceding four years. Now, we may add to that, I think we'll add to it tomorrow. But I'm telling you, tomorrow, maybe three days in a row, and then you're gonna see a switch because a trough is gonna develop. This trough, as you push into next week, will give us near or below average temperatures. I mean, you're maxing out in the 70s. It's much more like a typical September time of the year. That's what we see for next week. But this trough is going to help us as well. All right. For those of you who are embracing the, the hot temperatures, this will bring cooler air, but also sets up a deflector shield for anything brewing in the tropics. We've got dirt and Katya. Right now, they're, they'll look to sort of dissipate and move to the north. But we have two systems now, one which is just barely coming off of Africa, and this system right here, kind of in the middle of the ocean, has a 90% chance to become Lee. And as of yesterday's guidance, this was coming possibly to the northeastern portion of the U.S. Well, now, with the new data that shows, hey, that trough is going to set up. What's that trough going to do? It's going to kick it out. So embrace those cooler temperatures that we see for next week. What about rain? We've got a little line of rain here from Forked River over towards Whiting in New Jersey. That's it. It's in. It's out of your area. That's all we have to talk about. This is some, some more substantial rain. We'll look at that for the end of this week, like, say, Friday, and maybe into Saturday as well. And it's all part of my seven-day forecast. Uh, the rain chances begin on Friday and go into Saturday. But until then, it's the heat. That could be the first heat wave of the summer. We have not had one yet. 92 tomorrow, 92 Wednesday, 91 Thursday. So it's low grade, right? And it could very well end up being an 89 versus a 91 on Thursday. It's going to be close whether we establish a heat wave. But the fact that we haven't had any yet... Strange. It's something strange. And then right. rain chances come back here by the time you get to Friday. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, how's your pickle game? Pickleball game? I just played once, loved it. Loved it. You know, I was surprised. Well, listen, it's like a ping pong thing and a little yeah, bit of tennis. Ping pong right? with a little bit more running. Yeah. All right. See, Good stuff. Isn't That's that it. funny? He said a little bit more little running. Because we were talking about the cardio benefits of pickleball. It, it's true. I mean, who thinks? Who, who would have thunk that? Who would have thunk that you'd be out there getting sweaty playing pickleball? Yeah, you know, we fun. could go we, on. We'll get you there next <laughs> yeah, But, but they, we won't. But they're telling us we well, thank can't. Thank you. We got to go. <laughs>